Okay. Well, I got to ask how to make these little uh, flowers embellishments that I make out of book pages. So, sorry, stretching to get one that's already made. Um, I'll show you a quick way to do them. You don't have to have all fancy tools or anything like that. But, there's these little embellishments that I make from book pages that are flowers. This one has a paper clip on the back of it. But, I'm going to show you an easy way to make them. You don't have to have any fancy tools. I mean, look, I got a quarter and a penny and a dime and a nickel. Uh, this one is made out of some wrapping paper that I found. Because someone asked me if you can use wrapping paper. And you can totally use any kind of wrapping paper. Matter of fact, this is some wrapping paper that I found at a local thrift store for like 25 cents. You know, it comes in a little plastic bag for like one gift or something. So you could totally use any kind of paper medium that you wanted to. Now, you don't have to have brads. I do ha I do use brads because I like the center of them. You can use anything from little fancy ones to... These I picked up for like a dollar at my local Ace. I can pick them up. They're little tiny ones. From my local Ace. They come in just a little bitty bag for like 25 of them, I think. Something like that. You can use different size ones for different ones. Just depends. Or, if you don't have brads, that's okay. You can glue it together. I do that too. Now I can tell you to make a bigger one. These are just some book pages that I have left over because when I go to the thrift stores I I tend to look at just about everything. If you're a thrift store shopper then you know why but uh, there was some books that were sitting outside that the covers and everything were damaged from the rain so I, I used the pages to do just about everything from making envelopes to making paper embellishments. Now this one is, I cut this to a four inch by four inch square and because it, it'll make a bigger flower. And then this one is about a two and a half by three rectangle and I'm going to show you why because it doesn't have to be perfect and I'll show you why. So we'll start with this one. Uh, that's what these are. These are the ones that I cut earlier to make one. Let me get a little faster. But to fold this over, all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my words sideways because I want to get as many words in there as I can. I'm going to bring it over edge. Bring the corner over to the edge. This is my fanciest tool I use for this. I don't have a bone knife or anything like that. But I got these as a pack of two at the Dollar Tree. Works just as good as a bone knife, this little flat edge. Because it gives me a really good crisp line. And it's not even, and that's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be. Because you're going to cut the top of it off anyway. So I'm bringing over this corner to this corner. Can I use my little fancy tool? <laughs> yes, I don't have a bone knife, so I just use these. Like I said, you can get these two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Or if you have fingernails, you can you can use your fingernails. Or if you don't have that, use a quarter. It'll do the same thing. Matter of fact, I used a quarter before I found these little things at the Dollar Tree. So all I do is bring this corner back over to this corner. And I'll flip it over. And I bring this one over to this side. So now basically you have a triangle. 
Now, when you cut this, make sure that all the open side is at the top. Or it won't work. You'll just have a miss. So you put all the closed ends down at the bottom. Now for this one, I used a quarter. And what I do is I get it flush with the bottom. And I just trace my quarter around. Then what you gotta do, cut around your line. And that's it. So when you unfold it, have this little flower. And I usually, I try not to use them any less than four because I like it to have some layers to it. You can, you can use three, but to me a four is a good number. Now I could choose with this one to either put this one or use the plain one. But I like the words, so I'm going to use the words. A matter of fact, since it has that gap, I will usually come in here and choose this bottom piece. And all you gotta do is put your petals on the edge of the next petal. And just keep laying it like that. And put your words different ways. You don't have to put them all the same way. Gives it a good technique. Now to use a brad, these little things have this point at the bottom. So when I use my brads, I take right in the middle and you'll see right there where your lines come down in the middle, where you folded it, and I poke a hole all the way through. And then I just choose whatever color brad, let's see, I'm going to choose red right now. And I put a red brad in there. Flip it over. And you get a flower. Now if you want to give it some depth, you don't have to have any of the fancy dabbers, dabbers, whatever, however you want to pronounce them. You can just, again, break out your simple little ink pads. Again, these pack of four is like two bucks at the Dollar General. But since I used the red, I think I'm going to go with red. And you could do this before you put it together. Sometimes I do. But you can just go over it really quick. Sometimes you could just do it this way. get all of them sticking out that. Like that. I'm gonna take that one out because it's got a bad word. So I'm gonna be redoing that one. I don't like to use the ones that has a bad word in them, so I'll reuse that one. Now this one is cover this. These are smaller, as you can see, because this is from a smaller piece of paper. And I want to say it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't, and I'll show you why. When you fold it over to the edge, you have that much sticking out, and that's okay. Because all you have to do is cut it off. So they don't have to be perfect. And again, you just fold it over to the other corner. 
bring this corner back like so make sure we get good edges and bring this corner back and because this one was smaller I used a dime and I brought it down just a little bit So this one is going to be a lot smaller. Now I'm going to unfold all these and I'm going to show you. If you want, you can use a glue stick. I don't for this because I want it to stick. And sometimes glue stick glue just doesn't stick very well. And I want it to be really stuck together. So I use this. Local Walmart, dollar forty nine, works great, especially paper to paper, wood to paper. But I just take and put just a drop on there. On each little right in the center where you would put the bread, just in there and one more and there you go and that one's just glued once it dries it'll dry hard then if you want to poke your flowers up just go underneath there and Pull those lines up. There we go. So we got one with glue. This one's made with the breads. And this is made from wrapping paper. So, no reason to be intimidated. It's uh, some change for your corners if you need to use them. Dollar Tree bone knife special, but it's not a bone knife. Pencil. Scissors. Tacky glue. Brads, if you want to use them. And ink dowers, if you want to give it a little depth. I hope this helps. And I would love to swap with anybody who wants to swap. If you want to swap, just let me know. The it's endless to make things. I mean, I've made them uh, all kinds of different embellishments for Halloween. You can put little, oh, here we go. Uh, I have this little bucket of stuff, so you can put a bat in there. Make it a little girly, and you can put a fairy in there. So it's endless to do anything with these little flowers if you have uh, the little pop-up stickers from the Dollar Tree you could totally put one in the middle different styles all kinds of things it's endless so I hope this video helps and oh, don't be scared to try new things uh, simple crafts make some great crafts um, well, until the next quick video I hope this helps and please let me know Bye, guys.